What's up? It's been a while since I made a video, but I got a gift to myself mostly. Um, it's for the BMW, some so motor mounts and transmission mounts from Megan Racing. They're 80 durometers, so they're supposed to stiffen it up really good, which is good considering the ones I have on it right now are really probably in two pieces. Let's check this shit out. Stickers and stuff. Tranny mounts. Engine mounts. It looks like it should be simple, but we'll find out when we start doing it. So it looks like it should be fairly simple. One on top, one on bottom. One nut, one nut. I have to take off the air box and stuff to get to that side. And this one on the passenger side is right there. Can't really see. Fingers on it almost. Right there. There it is. Alright, there's the bad mount down there. It looks all ripped up. Gotta take that one nut off the top. That one nut off the bottom, lift up the engine and replace them. Oh, that was too easy, dude. Yeah. Like no effort to break it. Oh, 16s. Alright, so down here on the bottom, I used an extension and a swivel to go through my control arm and get to the nut right there. So that's the hole I was going through. My car's really dirty, I have an oil leak somewhere, but so I got to that one. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the passenger side, just go through the extension and the swivel, pull out the bottom nut from the mount, and then jack up the engine, pull the old ones out, put new ones in, hopefully that goes really smooth. That would be cool. All right, so we've got it jacked up, pushed the motor up a little bit, and should be enough to pull the engine out, or the mount out, well, shit. Uh, there's part of my motor mount. And there's the rest of it. Got the heat shield out. Jack this side of the engine up. I already got the other side mount in and started to give me leverage. The reach underneath that, I just dropped it on that pan. <laughs> This one's not blown out. It's still dirty though. Oh shit, the bottom is maybe. I don't know. Who knows? So I got this in, tightened it up, left out the heat shield. Uh, I'm just gonna run without it because there's lots of space between the exhaust manifold and the the motor mount, so I'm not sweating it. This was a pretty simple job. It took less than like an hour. Pretty quick. Um, just using all those. Taking that out. Now we're putting it back together and then we'll go road test it. All right, the motor mounts went in pretty easily, nice and smooth. The engine, I noticed, sits a little bit higher than it did originally, but I don't mind. Everything's in there nice and tight and in place. And we'll do a 
test drive to see if everything is tighter or if it's just in my head. Um, so I'm going to do the transmission mounts depending on how well or how easy they come out. Um, should just be like two tens, one on top, one on bottom. Maybe a 12. I don't know. I'll find out right now. These training mounts are not as easy. They're pretty easy if you can get them, but it's right here in this bracket. There's 13s down here, one on each side. And then on top, there's 13s, but you have to use a stubby wrench and find something with some leverage. So like I put them on and I used a pry bar to break them. Um, yeah, so they're broken. I just haven't taken them out yet. And I just hope they come, they go in as easily as, well, hopefully easier than this. This isn't as easy as I thought. All right. Got it loose. Got my 13 ratchet. 13 on my ratchet. Oh, this is a washer and a nut. This side should be a washer. That just the same. All right, washer and a nut, and it feels like on top there's a slit so it's actually open like this so if you just loosen the nut <clears throat> you should be able just to slide it out after I lift up the tranny and pull the bottom out you should be able just to slide the top out without having to take that nut all the way out <clears throat> alright so I got the transmission suspended right now here's the old mount here's the new one um, there's a little knob on the top of the new one and the old one and that's where I'm going to slide it in uh, like this and it'll lock it there so I can tighten this so I just barely started the new nut on the new mounts um, let's see maybe All right. you see right there where the open end is that's where I'm putting the mounts pull cool. that mount there's two of them it's so warm in the house. Can you lift it a little bit? Jack up the tranny a little bit? Yeah. Just a hair. Alright, maybe good. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. And we're done. Took less than everything? Yup. Took less than two hours. We got new tranny mounts and new motor mounts now just gotta clean up and test drive this bitch clean my face this is the oil right in my face hey you're welcome yeah thanks for all your help dude i know right <laughs> i'll give you a hundred dollars if you lick it lick that yeah it's only oil like dip your pinky in there and like yeah. this one you like, being serious it's it's only on oil it. dude suck on it like suckle it yeah, I know you won't do <laughs> <laughs> Squishy old stuff. With stiff new stuff. These things are all fucking old and... These all look like the original ones. Tons of mileage. And now they got new beats, new pieces. So we're gonna go test drive it in a second. Test drive went well. It's pretty stiff putting it in gear and letting go of the clutch it doesn't flex or anything it doesn't vibrate like it did with the stock mounts now it's just really stiff and goes and so acceleration is a lot better too 
so far so good. See how it goes in a couple weeks, if I get them replaced or not.